Hashtag, did you know? Hashtag, the more you know. According to your publisher, O1 author, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. may not have criticized Malcolm X as fiercely as Alex Haley claimed in his infamous Playboy interview with MLK, according to the author of a new biography about the I Have a Dream icon. Haley interviewed Dr. King for Playboy magazine in 1965. At the time, it was the longest published interview King ever did. Haley, whose book, The Autobiography of Malcolm X, as told to Alex Haley was released nine months after Malcolm X's assassination in 1965, asked King if he had any thoughts on Malcolm X. In the published article, part of King's response, including calling Malcolm X's stance fiery, demagogic oratory, was found to have been fabricated, according to author Jonathan Igg. I think its historic reverberations are huge, I told the Washington Post of the revelation. We've been teaching people for decades, for generations, that King had this harsh criticism of Malcolm X, and it's just not true. Related to Hashtag happy birthday, hashtag El Hodge Malakal Shabazz, hashtag Malcolm's, hashtag Detroit Red, hashtag Malcolm Little, hashtag Lansing, hashtag Inkster, hashtag Michigan. May 19th, 1925, February 21st, 1965. May your legacy continue to inspire, educate, and enhance future generations and as a beacon of peace, wisdom, and hope towards unity, freedom, love, and substance. Our struggle continues, speaking silhouette, raised fist, revolving hearts. To view and read full article, Please click on to highlighted web links in the outline description box below. Malcolm X, born as Malcolm Little on this day, May the 19th, back in 1925. Born into a revolutionary black nationalist, pan-Africanist, black militant family. He goes on to become a global leader against white supremacy and colonialism, uniting and learning from the forces of anti-colonialism from Vietnam, from Kenya, Congo, Palestine, Egypt, Algeria, Cuba, and many other places, forging in, his, in himself the personification of leadership and, in, and, and continuing to inspire many others, developing a no-seller approach, no interest in colonial careerism, but actually smashing down all the sellouts and that which produces them, the colonial system itself. Today, when our young people are searching for role models, one could do no better than Malcolm X, a great figure of a man, a liberator of our people. Please engage with this wonderful human being. Malcolm 